Yesterday I went to a furry event with my boyfriend and I think I got the ick, I feel so bad. I didn't even know what a furry exactly was before I met him, we were together for literally three whole years until we moved in together, I found one of his furry outfits while I was helping him move his clothes into our apartment. At first, I thought that maybe at some point he had worked in children's shows or selling things in the subway, in my country it is normal to see people in costumes selling things, but then I also found a fox tail and thought it was something funky but it's not. He got nervous and confessed to me that he is a furry, I looked at him like what the heck is a furry? Anyway, he explained to me that years ago he created his fursona and it is a hobby that makes him feel at ease and happy, he said that he hid it from me because he was embarrassed and scared that I might leave him. I assured him that I wasn't going to leave him and that I love him, that knowing my boyfriend uses a fox suit was the least sensual thing in the world but I support his hobby. I didn't really think much about it, did it seem weird to me? Yes, but at the time I thought I loved him so much that I was going to support him. It's been a year since that and he's invited me to a furry event for the first time, I've never gotten into his furry events, I hadn't seen him wearing his suit either, I think he wears it very rarely, because it's not my thing at all but he invited me really excited and shy, I couldn't refuse to go with him. But when we got there it was like oh, this is getting real when I saw him park the car and put on his suit. I didn't have a suit so my face was totally visible when we got out of the car a few streets back and had to walk through the city center like that. I felt embarrassed even if it's awful to say that. First we met his furry friends who were waiting in a park for him, and I found out that my boyfriend has a name that he uses when he's in character. They were nice but no, it's not an everyday thing to see your boyfriend using a pet name, dressed as a fox and talking to other people who are also like that, although some didn't have a suit, just a tail or nothing. I felt embarrassed because people around obviously walked by and laughed or looked curiously. A few minutes later we finally went to the place of the event and it wasn't that many people but a large group, most of them without a suit and just wearing tails or just a mask. I know it's wrong to say it, but a lot of those people smelled musty, long hair so greasy you could fry an egg on it, just weird people. Years ago I accompanied my sister to an otaku event and it was 95% the same kind of people, like weird in the wrong way, I've never been in that kind of environment as it's not to my taste. My boyfriend isn't like that at all, he's attractive, smells good, has a normal life and work and I don't think anyone would expect him to be a furry, so it was my first time seeing other furries in person besides my husband, we like calling each other wife and husband although we're not married. At one point they started playing at removing each other's tails, some were doing choreographies and tiktok, some of them like to do high jumps in four. You know what it's like to see your boyfriend do a choreo dressed as a blue fox while asking you to call him by his furry name and pet his head? I do know it and it was impossible for me not to change the way I see him. I didn't feel comfortable in the place, it bothered me a lot since there were some using harnesses in their suits, what is attractive about an animal? Some artist stands at furry art which was pretty explicit, my boyfriend dislikes that kind of art, for him his fursona is a performance, so I just felt even more weird because they're animals even if they call that a fursona. I felt weird and since yesterday every time I see my boyfriend I can't help but think of him being part of those people and him dressed like that. I really love him but I just feel like I got the ick, and I hate that because I always wanted to be the supportive girlfriend but this is just too much. I don't want to talk about this with my boyfriend and make him feel ashamed of who he is and what he likes, I don't want to make him feel bad about my feelings. He's a great man, really the only time I felt tenderness yesterday was when he hugged me thanking me for support him in this. I just feel like the worst person in the world and the last thing I want to do is hurt him, even if his friends are too weird for me. I just hope I can get over this icky feeling fast but he just keeps showing me pictures of the event and telling me that he can't wait for the next one, and I just can't tell him that the last thing I want to do is go to one of those events again. Edit, I always supported him. I don't feel manipulated like some people say in the comments, I did want to go with him because I thought that maybe it was going to be fun, it wasn't. He's not into anything intimate, he told me that his character is a performative thing that he enjoys doing from time to time, but doesn't find it exciting or comfortable fetishizing a fursona, because at the end of the day it's just a character, that he told me that for him it's like a person getting aroused by being dressed as Mickey for a play, he can't feel like that. We literally live together and share the PC, if he had strange movements I would notice them. He goes to those events very occasionally because he doesn't like the, more, weird side of furry. I know he's not a perv and no, my intuition doesn't tell me that he is that, my intuition just tells me that the people at that event smelled funny and that I don't want to set foot in that place again.